This is the evolution of iPhone displays, from TFT screens to Super Retina XDR OLED. The first iPhone presented by Steve Jobs in January 2007 used a plastic display, but just 11 days before the official launch, Apple announced that the model going on sale in June 2007 would ship exclusively with a glass screen. Thus, the original iPhone featured a 3.5-inch TFT LCD display, with a resolution of 320 by 480 pixels and a pixel density of approximately 165 ppi. If you looked closely, the lines, text, and icons showed slight jaggies. Apple did not publish official brightness or contrast specifications, but independent testing at the time indicated brightness levels around 350 to 400 nits and a contrast ratio typical of TFT panels from that era. The display refreshed at 60 Hz, was protected by the first generation of Gorilla Glass, and introduced multi-touch, one of the most important innovations in smartphone history. The iPhone 3G and 3GS keep the exact same display specifications, using a 3.5-inch TFT LCD panel with a resolution of 320 by 480 pixels and roughly 165 ppi. The iPhone 4 introduces the iconic Retina display, a 3.5-inch IPS LCD panel with a resolution of 640 by 960 pixels and a density of 326 ppi, double that of previous generations. The term retina describes a display with a pixel density so high that, at normal viewing distance, the human eye can no longer distinguish individual pixels. The screen reaches roughly 500 nits of brightness, offers a contrast ratio of 800 to 1, and was considered one of the best smartphone displays at the time. The panel is covered by a much more durable aluminosilicate glass, similar to Gorilla Glass. The iPhone 5 series moves to a larger 4-inch Retina display with an IPS LCD panel, a resolution of 640 by 1136, a pixel density of 326 ppi, and a 16 by 9 aspect ratio. Brightness and contrast remain similar, but color reproduction becomes noticeably more accurate. With the iPhone 5, Apple introduced a thinner display thanks to in-cell technology, where the touch sensors are integrated directly into the LCD layer. The iPhone 6 generation arrives in two sizes, 4.7 inches and 5.5 inches, delivering higher resolutions and more pixels on the Plus model. Brightness stays around 500 nits, while contrast improves to 1400 to 1 on the iPhone 6 and 1300 to 1 on the 6 Plus. The Retina HD display is protected by ion-strengthened glass and an oleophobic coating. These screens are larger, brighter, and offer better overall color accuracy. The iPhone 6S and 6S Plus keep the same base display specifications, but introduce two key improvements. Support for a wider color gamut with richer, more saturated colors, and for the first time, 3D touch. The iPhone SE uses a 4-inch IPS LCD with a resolution of 640 by 1136 and a density of 326 ppi, inherited directly from the iPhone 5S. The iPhone 7 lineup doesn't change display size or resolution, but noticeably improves image quality. The screens now support the P3 wide color gamut, reach about 625 nits of brightness, and use dual domain pixels for wider viewing angles. The display is protected by ion-strengthened glass and an oleophobic coating that resists fingerprints. The iPhone 8 series keeps the same display sizes and resolutions as the iPhone 7, but introduces True Tone, a feature that adjusts the screen's color temperature based on ambient lighting. The panels remain IPS LCD with the P3 wide color gamut and use a more impact-resistant front glass. The iPhone X marks a major shift. It's the first iPhone with an OLED display, the first without a home button, and the first to introduce the notch. It uses a 5.8-inch Super Retina OLED with a resolution of 1125 by 2436 pixels and a density of 458 ppi. The display offers practically infinite contrast, 1 million to 1, around 625 nits of typical brightness, with support for HDR10 and Dolby Vision. The iPhone XS and XS Max use the same Super Retina OLED technology introduced with the iPhone X, with the Max model offering a larger diagonal and a higher resolution. The iPhone XR uses a 6.1-inch Liquid Retina IPS LCD with a resolution of 828 by 1792 pixels and a density of 326 ppi. The iPhone 11 keeps its 6.1-inch LCD, while the Pro models use Super Retina XDR OLED panels at 5.8 and 6.5 inches, both with 458 ppi. 
Key features include a practically infinite contrast ratio, 2 million to 1, support for HDR10 and Dolby Vision, up to 1200 nits of HDR brightness, and a typical brightness of 800 nits. The iPhone SE uses the same display panel found in the iPhone 6, 7, and 8. The screen offers a contrast ratio of about 1400 to 1, a typical brightness of 625 nits, and includes true tone. The entire iPhone 12 lineup switches to OLED displays, with diagonals ranging from 5.4 inches to 6.7 inches, resolutions at or above Full HD, and pixel densities up to 476 ppi. The 12 and 12 mini reach a typical brightness of 625 nits, while the Pro models go up to 800 nits, with all versions hitting up to 1200 nits in HDR. The whole lineup is protected by ceramic shield. The iPhone 13 and 13 mini keep the same display technology as the iPhone 12, but increase typical brightness to around 800 nits, shrink the notch, and improve overall power efficiency. The Pro models introduce ProMotion with an adaptive refresh rate up to 120 Hz. Their OLED panels become brighter, 1000 nits typical and 1200 nits in HDR, while offering better calibration and improved efficiency. The iPhone SE 2022 keeps the exact same display as the SE 2020. With the iPhone 14 series, the standard models keep the same sizes and resolutions as the previous generation, using 60Hz Super Retina XDR OLED panels with practically infinite contrast. The iPhone 14 Pro and 14 Pro Max upgrade to LTPO ProMotion panels at 120Hz retain the 6.1 and 6.7-inch sizes and increase brightness to 1000 nits typical, 1600 nits HDR, and 2000 nits outdoors. The Pro models also introduce Dynamic Island and Always On Display. The iPhone 15 and 15 Plus keep the 6.1 and 6.7 inch sizes, but adopt Dynamic Island for the first time and feature a brighter Super Retina XDR OLED panel with 1000 nits typical brightness and up to 2000 nits outdoors. The iPhone 15 Pro models continue to use Super Retina XDR OLED with promotion at 120Hz, but move to thinner bezels enabled by the new titanium frame and offer better panel uniformity. They also include always-on display, dynamic island, and ceramic shield protection. The iPhone 16 and 16 Plus keep the same display sizes and the same 60Hz Super Retina XDR OLED panel with practically infinite contrast. Brightness remains at 1000 nits typical, 1600 nits HDR, and up to 2000 nits outdoors. The iPhone 16 Pro and 16 Pro Max increase their screen sizes for the first time to 6.3 and 6.9 inches using Super Retina XDR OLED displays with adaptive ProMotion up to 120Hz. And the series adopts the thinnest bezels to date along with ceramic shield protection. The iPhone 16e keeps most of the characteristics of the iPhone 16 display but offers lower brightness. The iPhone 17 series delivers some of the most advanced displays yet, with every model using LTPO Super Retina XDR OLED panels with adaptive 120Hz refresh rate, HDR10 and Dolby Vision support, 1000 nits typical brightness, 1600 nits HBM, and up to 3000 nits peak. The entire series uses Ceramic Shield 2 and a new anti-reflective coating, making the viewing experience almost identical across all models, with the major differences being screen size and resolution. The same specifications apply to the iPhone Air, which uses a 6.5-inch display with a resolution of 1260 by 2736 pixels. And that was the evolution of iPhone displays. What do you think is the most important change in this entire evolution? Let me know in the comments. If you enjoyed this kind of video, make sure to subscribe to our channel, and if you give us a like and leave a comment, it really helps us out. Thank you.